Hey guys, it's D Money Bala. Today I've got an old Dell Optiplex that I got from a municipality for a hundred bucks. It's got an i7 4770, uh, 32 gigs of DDR3 RAM. I put an SSD in there and we're going to throw a 1660 Ti. This is the MSI Twin Frozer Edition into it and we're going to be gaming on it and seeing what it can do in 1080p gaming today. So we just pop that open and then we can pull the side panel off. We we'll put that down here. And what we I uh I unplugged the SATA drive, just the DVD drive, just because I thought it might pull too much power um, when we're doing all of this. I've thrown my SSD drive in here, uh, and we've got a SATA to 8 pin connector. Um, adapter that we're going to need to run power to the video card. There is a bay, there is a hard drive bay here um, that the graphics card's just going to be real tight up close on that. So what we do is we open the side thing. We're going to remove the two of these to because it's a two slot card. Then we're just going to slide this in here. And make sure to slot it in nice. Then we uh, give it its power. And we've got that nice and installed. Unfortunately, we can't close this, um, this thing op that we've opened up because it'll hit the graphics card shroud. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got a screw here with the motherboard standoff underneath it and I'm just going to tighten it down to secure the graphics card so that it doesn't uh, move around when we stand it up. With Age of Empires 4 we've got the image quality on high, everything else on medium except for anti-aliasing and physics, um, but when I tried to move those up to like medium uh, the game complained and said that was not advisable, but you can see that we're getting an average of around 60 frames per second. Um, and our 1% low is 43. Um, I think we could probably tweak those uh, physics and anti-aliasing to medium and still get a very playable frame right here with Age of Empires 4. Moving on to Call of Duty Warzone at 1080p, we've got a mix of high and ultra settings and the 1660 Ti is able to do very well here. We get an average of 73 frames per second with 1% low of 44. And yeah, definitely um, pretty playable here, especially considering that the monitor that I plan is only 60 hertz, so it can definitely hit my monitor 60 hertz refresh rate, and then it has some, a little bit of headroom too. Looking at Halo Infinite, we played at 1080p with a high preset. We got an average of 87 frames per second with 1% low of 49. We had async compute enabled. And yeah, this is definitely a very playable title. I thought it was very op well optimized for this uh, 1660 Ti, and especially considering how old the CPU is, it's doing very well here. As we've seen, this 1660 Super with this uh, fourth generation i7 can still game in 1080p. Is it going to be the best experience? No. But is it a good budget option? I would dare to say, yeah, pretty good 1080p gaming experience. Thank you for watching this video. If you've liked it, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a great day.